Hello and welcome to Genesis Alpha 1. In this video I'm going to show you quickly how to play the game. Before we start by pressing New Mission, I recommend you go to Options, Video, and enable Windowed Full Screen, and then switch to Audio, and set Master Volume to 10 for the duration of this video. This is if you already have a game and want to play alongside of this tutorial. I also recommend you bookmark this video with Ctrl D or using the star icon at the top right of your browser. If you do watch and play at the same time, you can use Alt Tab to switch between the two and pause the video with the spacebar and also continue playing it back. We're gonna start with a new mission and we are forced to use the tutorial. I guess that's okay. You actually have to do it before you unlock any other, uh, let's say, corporations. Yeah, that's what they're called. And then you can press Start Mission. All right, so here we have the intro and all video sequences you can skip by pressing right mouse button. In this case, you can always see at the bottom what you have to press, so let's do that. Welcome to the shipbuilding interface. And we are in the building interface. We are forced to build here. We can use WASD, mouse wheel, and right click uh, drag to take a look around. We're gonna also switch the view using the M key to this methodical or, yeah, more structured view. We can also just take a look at the outside look. But again, back to this view. And we have to build two buildings, greenhouse, tractor beam. The layout of this is pretty bad, in my opinion, pretty, pretty bad. So I recommend you start a new ship immediately after the tutorial. Uh, but that's what the tutorial is for, for seeing one bad design, for example. So let's place in farming, tractor beam, let's place this next to biotank and uh, life systems, greenhouse, we're gonna place down here. All right, so now we can continue. What we actually have to press is tab. The tab key is left of Q. There we go. And in other situations, there might be not enough storage units, for example, or not enough crew cabins. In this case, if here, if on the right, everything is zero, then you're good to go. So let's start the game. There's another intro, we just, we're just gonna skip it. Alright, so this guy, that's us. But it doesn't matter. Because probably we're going to die. But it doesn't matter, because everybody on this ship is a clone. Alright, right immediately we get this tablet. We can get rid of it using T, but we can also left-click drag to look around and we can still use WASD to move around. And right-click drag also works. I'm gonna press... oh wait, it went away automatically. Alright, we can press T to show it again. No, this time we see a video. There's a summary of what we actually have to do. Our goal is to find a Genesis planet and to colonize it. We will talk more about that later. Okay, I'm pressing T to get out of that. You can always... come on, let's... alright, here. So T, T, T to skip and to go back. Here you can re-watch the intro, well, the guide, what you're actually supposed to do. And you can have a little bit of fun and change the colors of the design. I recommend for most of the areas to use white. Later, when you have complex looking areas, for example, to be, to be able to quickly identify, okay, I'm walking down this corridor, the bridge is to the right, then I would say you go into this sector and, come on, I go to coloring and make this one, for example, red if you decide that bridge should be uh, colored red. And then here, let's see, this this leads to greenhouse. So let's, hey, guess what? We're gonna color this green, green, green. So when we're walking from the biotank, we can see kind of from, a f well, at this point already, we can definitely see, oh, we have to go turn right because we want to go to the bridge. And this one, we're gonna turn pink because that's the, yeah, that's human. That's what means human. All right, uh, we have to go to the tractor beam module. We can always press tab. We can press tab to see an overview and then press M twice to see this more appropriate layout. And here we can see we are pointing upwards and the tractor beam is to the right. Tab and walking this way. And here we are. All right, we have to scan for debris. Uh, first, I'm gonna change the colors here to completely white, just to be able to see better. And uh, we have to walk up to this terminal, press E, 
and just so you know if you press on any black area and then drag you can look to other parts this is this took a while for me to figure out here you can assign crew and here you can see resources in deposit storage what kind of gas well atmospheres you have ready readily available just ship statistics okay let's go back to the main view and here we can while we are in some star system select one of these and deselect them and select them and there are resources here but we haven't scanned them yet which you do from the bridge so we can by pressing by the way pressing s you have to press s for a little bit to get out of a computer view and then we walk to one of these computer stations and press e and hold it down and now it's beaming beam, well whatever we are doing calculating trajectory entry point something and it's done we uh we were beaming lithium we can see now that we have a storage of six lithium let's get one more and so that we don't have to do this all the time we will assign crew members to do that okay we are at six lithium in the background the tractor beam is doing its job and we have seven so now we're going to assign people we can do this here just by pressing quick crew assignment then crew that is unassigned will be assigned Job all right but we can also specif specify which people to assign but they are all human clones they have the same statistics so it doesn't matter all right let's grab one more and now we have to build again once we're done with that here we go when you are doing this uh, using some console you are much faster than these clones yeah the, the captain which is who you are much faster but when you're busy with other stuff they can do a good job also they have weapons so to defend because sometimes this process also beams aliens into this room all right let's press tab and build what we have to build now is a workshop which is in oh yeah it is in defense let's click it and uh, i like to have it very close to tractor beam uh in this case i suggest here because there are upgrade well Again, this ship is going to be abandoned and we're going to start a real ship later, but I recommend to the right of tractor beam. Okay, out of here with tab tab and here's the workshop now. We just unlocked a corporation. So we have to continue make, doing this tutorial until we unlock all of them so we can pick from them so we can start a normal ship. Anyways, let's uh, look at the terminal and we can build a turret here. Let's go to defenses, turret and... Never mind, we don't have sulfur, so we cannot build one right now. Instead, we, have, we can just take two with E over here. With the three on the keyboard, we can select this and left click to place it. We cannot place it on stairs or in the air. Oh, but we can place it here, for example, or pick it up with E. I'm gonna place one here. Dude. And I'm, and I'm gonna place one here. And now we have to go to the greenhouse. We're going to plant a, well, a tree. Let's see. Any aliens yet? No. All right, let's go. And the uh, greenhouse is not here, but over here. All right. In here, we're going to use the computer again. And on the left, we're going to select plants and palm and plant. And we're going to assign one, one person in here. And now what's gonna happen, one of the robots is gonna pick up... Go away. One of these robots here. They are workers that just fly around the spaceship when resources need to be moved. He's going to deposit and picking up this thing and moving it to the greenhouse. And because of this process, because you would have to wait for this to, to finish, that's why you would want one person at least to be in each greenhouse. Also, people defend against alien intruders. Sometimes that happens. But once a plant is in here, you can go to the console or wait for the uh, guy I just hired to this room uh, to do it. But there's a plant. It was it just randomly spawns in one of these. So now we have, if we look at this, we have a palm which generates 102 for now. But uh, the presence of a worker in this room, something that you cannot do yourself, uh, he will slowly make it produce another one and then another one of O2. And you need these 
well, slots to get more clones able to live on this ship. Okay, speaking of clones, we're gonna build a clone lab. Let's go to build mode and uh, we're gonna go to... Well, where is it? Crew? I guess it's crew. Clone lab, here it is. We can rotate these with Q and E, as you can see at the bottom, and we can switch uh, levels with R and F, but we're only gonna use one level for now. The clone lab, let's see, I think we're gonna place it up, up here, yeah. So let's go back to the bio tank tractor beam, go to the clone lab and clone a new crew member. Alright, here we are, and using the terminal and going to clones, human, clone. Alright, we're waiting for this to fill up. Oh, okay, just water. So now we type in here, hold down E, and it's done. And we can basically leave, but uh, there's... New clone has been welcomed. Here, there they are. They just spawn and now we're gonna get out of here. Okay, now we're gonna build a hangar, which is important for getting resources off uh, planet surfaces. Let's go to build mode, let's go to... Is it in farming or... Hangar is in here. It's quite huge. And we're gonna rotate it. I recommend this kind of arrangement relative to a tractor beam. But again, this layout is bad. There's a lot of waste. Okay, let's go to the hangar and land on the planet. And uh, let's see. No, we don't have we don't have enough crew cabin, so we can't produce another clone, anyways. Let's uh, just. They do have two here. Okay, we're gonna continue to the hangar, which is. I took the wrong turn. Here's the hangar. All right, so this ship can go down to planets, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do that now. Let's just assign two people, job ass job they are gonna join us, and let's pick one of these planets, but we don't know which is which, so what we're gonna do actually now, we're gonna go back to the bridge, because this is getting annoying, and we're gonna scan some stuff, here's the bridge, right? Okay, so we can just interact with these consoles to scan stuff in the proximity. It's so slow. We are in this area, we can scan at a distance of one field, but I hope we're starting to scan in the field or sector or star system that we're in currently. So let's scan three more planets, I mean three more or four more objects, which includes planets and debris field. I think that should be it. Let's take a look. If we hover our mouse, we can see four out of four scanned. Very good. Well, explored, actually. We already s started exploring one thing north of this. Also, this is interesting. It says planets explored, but there's only one, two planets here. The other things are debris fields. So let's get out of here. Let's go to the hangar and let's get landing. So what we have to do here? We select one of these and just let them go. That's one option. We can also join them. If they go on their own, they will get resources, but they will never explore site locations. Site locations are places where you can get technology or intel. And when they come back, they usually bring aliens with them. So then you have to fight them on in the hangar. Anyways, we are with them here, down on the planet. We can give them orders. If you hold down shift and you press 1, you can tell them just stay back in the ship. If you press 2, they continue their job, which is go and get resources. If you press uh, 3, yeah, you can tell them to hold the position, which is weird. Whoa, let me get the gun with number 1. And shift 4, fall back, I guess. Well, I'm gonna tell them to do keep moving. And uh, these are enemies. They dropped a DNA sample. I can right click to collect this. Just hold down right. And here we have some aliens, which also drop stuff like DNA samples. Uh, did I just collect it? I think I did. Maybe. Number one and two are for weapons. And you can just use them to shoot, of course. Another DNA sample, very nice. We're gonna scan this later, I mean, research this later. But uh, to collect these resources, you just right-click and hold. In this case, it's lithium ore. This one can be used to build uh, energy barriers. 
This one is a plant which allows you to be planted in the bios uh, in the biosphere. What's it called? Biosphere. Ouch! This one nearly killed me. Um, right. So we can collect that and plant it later. And let's collect this DNA sample again. Also, we have this turret at the top, which is very useful. It protects us quite well, but not perfectly well. Uh, you can see all the resources you collected over here. There are one, two, three, four, five slots. And we're gonna, they're gonna continue collecting stuff until it's full. They don't seem to have very much logic to their selection of what they collect. Also, I just got some biomass. That's good. And I can also just press Shift-1 to make them go away. Oh! More enemies. If I hold down Shift, I can also see their health. 100? Uh, don't know. Alright, sidestepping is very important. Small sidesteps can be enough to avoid being shot. This is not true for all enemies and weapons, but it's true for many. Alright, what else? There's something... Oh, more stuff. This is a ability. An ability that we just collected. We can research that also. Yep. Collect as much as you can, but apparently, as far as I understand, there's a limit of 20 uh, biomass per trip. So I'm just gonna continue over here. Meanwhile, my team is collecting the last... I think they just finished. Yeah, hearts are fully loaded at the top left. You can see your health if you right-click and hold at the, on your left arm. Or some other weapons. For example, if I use this rifle, I can also see it. If I use a pistol, I cannot see it. So that's interesting and important to know. Walking backwards also is very helpful because some enemies have very low range. These ones are quite weak, by the way, the hollows. But they can kill you if you don't know how to move around. If you just step next to them, they will shoot you and it will hurt. Uh, 80... Okay, 76. Yeah. You regenerate health automatically slowly. Ouch. But it's better to not risk it. If you die, you die. And then you will transfer to one of the other uh, people in your group. And these weapons, all weapons but the standard pistol, they use ammo. So you might want to use a pistol as much as you can, but if you're bored by that, well, use some ammo, waste some ammo. Later you will get a feel for which uh, enemies drop which kind of ammo that you can pick up. Alright, so I'm uh, getting tired of this. We are currently harvesting biomass and DNA samples. Uh, and it's kind of tempting because we have out ten 8 out of 10. But I don't want to hang around anymore. So let's go back to the ship. We go to return to mothership here and press... Okay, one more. One more. Let's fight these guys. Let's see. Oh, just one more sample. Just one more. You can see at the top left. Clone sample holo 1. 9 out of 10. We gotta, we gotta wait for one more attack. Okay, so these are not holos because there was no boom, 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 boom sound. These are just some aliens. Stepping back one step is very useful again. Okay, and we get new DNA samples for possible crew members. We can also jump on these little rocks and, for example, the aliens we just fought, they would not be able to reach us here. But these guys can shoot us if we're up there. Alright, final DNA sample. Let's get out of here. So we go into the ship and we can actually restock weapons, ammo and turrets and uh, barriers if we wanted to, but we can also just leave. Once we press launch, we cannot abort. And we can also not leave. Some aliens can still get in, but we just shoot them. Alright, here we are. Okay, so now we need to build a refinery. Because these resources that we take by, well, dropship, they cannot be used immediately. They have to be refined. We can take a look at this thing and see there's deposit, storage, and there's storage. And these are going to go to deposit for now. The robots are coming and picking them up. And they're taking them to the deposit storage room, which is over here. 
Yep, just placing it in there and they get placed somewhere. There we go. Alright, so what we're gonna do is go to build mode, tab MM for this view and we're gonna build a farming refinery, refinery. which I like to have right next to the hangar. But I think it might be wiser to have a connection first. Let's put a corridor between hangar and here. And now we're gonna build farming, refinery. And over here. And here we're gonna add some deposit storage. Farming... Ah, we cannot afford, we don't have iron. Okay, so we build that. Let's go to the hangar and then the refinery and refine materials as the guide is telling us. Alright, here we are. There's a computer here. And uh, there's nothing much to do here. We just current refining process. We just have to wait for the resource. We can assign people, which is very much recommended because it's extremely boring to Jones. just wait here. So I'm gonna assign one, one person from the tractor beam, I think. And here's a robot bringing a piece of resource all the way from the uh, from the deposit here, which is why I recommend you place one here instead, so it's right next to it. All right, and now that the resource is here, we can use these terminals to refine it. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the bridge and travel to another planetary system. And uh, also, aliens often come out of here during this whole process and attack. But we might see that later. So let's go to the bridge. And, oh, that's not the bridge. Here's the bridge. And up to the main com use terminal, yeah, main terminal. And uh, we can pick planets and click, and uh, we should first explore all of them, actually, so we see what they have. Actually, I, what I would do is go to other, to this planet, for example, to get this site. So before doing that, I'm actually gonna go down to the planet one more time to collect this one site, because it contains something special. And I, need, I really want you to know how to use these. You have to join the party or else they will ignore the site, so let's go. By the way, if you alt-tab out of a game while you're waiting for this dropship to uh, go down, you will stay back, it's a weird bug. Alright, so let's go and we're gonna focus on the site. They can do what they want, because I don't think this is a very dangerous planet. And, oh, I immediately see the site is right in front of us. There's usually a little red light where it is. Sometimes you have to scan the horizon, sometimes you have to just run around the area to find it. But I could identify its shape immediately. This is a downed uh, satellite. We can jump on most of these things and that would protect us from aliens that try to reach us. And we have to hang around for, I guess, 30 seconds. I don't know how long it really takes. Looks like a crew member is getting hurt. I'm gonna just shift one to tell them to go back to the ship. So they don't get killed, I hope. Let me just collect this thing. And, uh, well, let's shift to them so they continue. Maybe they can actually take care of them. And we come back here and we can continue with the percentage we had earlier. So you don't. So it is okay to leave the area. You're not gonna lose the percentage of scanning. And here we are, it's done. And the first few times I did this, I forgot to actually pick this up. So I have to go up to the hologram and press E. And also some of these have uh, ammunition next to them, so you just right-click, hold to pick this up. And that's pretty much it. Oh, more DNA. More biomatter. More enemies. Okay, so biotank, we're kind of collecting too much stuff. This is not because we're reaching the limit of this thing, but rather the biotank on ship. So we're kinda kind of running out of space. And I think we're also soon gonna be running out of space of storage on the dropship. One more. Right, so these are plants. The problem with them is that they occupy space in the uh, storage, uh, which is also used for resources that you have to process, so you might get into trouble with that if uh, they block all the space and then the robots have to go further. Right, so the harvester, as the dropship is called, is full, so we can collect anything uh, else. We can collect as many 
of these site stuffs. Uh, yeah, as many as we can find. I don't think I've seen a planet with more than two. Maybe once there were three, but I kind of doubt it. And having two sites on one planet is also very rare. So we're just leaving this planet and returning to the mothership. All right, so let's make a hyper jump now into an unknown system because we're not going to spend time scanning it first. Here we are. And where we're going to jump, we're going to jump to the one furthest from all other systems this way. And we can also zoom in here if we want. We can use these weird arrows to navigate around. And zoom again to go back to full view and hyper jump. This one takes three seconds to start and looks pretty cool. Bush. Alright, we're done with that. Congratulations! Okay, so it's saying you should be familiar with all the basics that a genesis must know. That is not exactly true. More information is available. Yeah, we can talk to people and ask them about stuff. But I'm going to show you some more. Well, there's this thing, you have to just scan stuff. This is essential to the entire game, because without scanning planets, you will never find Genesis. Unless perhaps you try to land on it? That, that's an interesting thing. What if you try to land on a planet and it turns out to be a Genesis planet? I have no idea. But testing that would take years. So, let's go and clone some more people, for which we need more crew quarters, for which we need more iron. So what we're going to do primarily is we're going to scan for iron. So the first thing you should do when entering a system, unless you're being attacked, is to scan, scan, scan. So you know where to act, how to act from that. So I think that might have been enough for this system at least. Yeah, six out of six scans, so let's go back to the tractor room. And here we can see sites, which are the most interesting thing, really. But we also need iron, so let's get it from here. And let's initiate the first one. And then we're gonna start harvesting by going down to the planet. Oh, these green clouds indicate that there might be an infestation coming. Right, so they... ...move around the area and might plant something. There. This thing is gonna grow, grow, grow and make people sick. Others might grow, grow, grow and turn into aliens. Yeah, it's already starting. We can destroy them though, by shooting them three times. Oh, there's another one here. And another one. And uh, that's it, I think. There it- oh, no, there's more. Very annoying. And they just keep coming. So actually, before we go down on the planet, we're gonna collect enough iron to build a crew quarter so we can clone some more. Alright, so now we have enough iron to build another place for people to live in. So let's build in crew quarters. And again, this layout is quite bad, but let's just put it in here. And let's go to the clone lab. Here's the clone lab. And here we go. We can also research these guys. I guess let's do that. Just to see how to research people. And that was it. And now we can clone these guys. But we don't have their N2O plants. Let's see, do we have any that create N2O? No. So we're gonna have to rely on humans for now. But we don't have enough biomatter anymore. To get biomatter, let's go on another planet. But first, let's just take a look at what happens when you send people to a planet without going with them. So they are departing without you and flying away and it's gonna take a while. Let's just speed through this. 
Right, and here they are, and as you can see they brought resources. But they also most likely will bring some aliens to fight. Yep, here we go. And this can get... Oh, this one isn't even aware of the situation. This can get dangerous, which is... Oh, look at this. Also some spores. As I said, this can get dangerous. They can get over here, destroy this thing. By the way, if enough of these are destroyed, you will lose modules. We're gonna take a look at that later. For now, we got a bio... Uh, biomatter piece. Also, while there are items here to be unloaded, we cannot go to the surface. We can destroy the cargo, which is a bit of a waste. So for now, we would just wait for them to finish this. Also, this might be a plant that we need for the holos, but I'm not exactly sure. So let's speed up until they pick this up. Okay, here we go. And, oh, meanwhile, infestation happening. So shoot these things. And this one turned to aliens. This can get dangerous. Oh, and there's some more. But this was too small to become a danger already. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the greenhouse. Biosphere, and see if we can get another plant in here. NH2. Yeah, this is not what we need for that hologram race, right? So I guess let's just plant this. There's a guy assigned, so that's fine. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go for more of these sites. This planet has two sites. That looks interesting. Let's get in there and speed through. And these guys can just collect whatever they want. I'm gonna focus on the sites. And here it's a bit harder to see. I don't... Oh, no, wait, that's just a laser of a gun. Let me just get on top of this. I don't see anything yet. So I'm just gonna... Oh, there's a red light. So that is... Come on, plant. That is one side. Okay, so this is a piece of Tom's Voyage. This is kind of a background story plot. You can access this in this thing. Let's just have it in the background while we keep walking. This is a glorious day for mankind and the greatest honor for an astronaut. I trained all my life for this moment. May God, may science be with us to make this endeavor a success. May this day be remembered as a turning point for humanity. May Alpha One welcome this ship and his crew with open arms. 20%. Serious trajectory deviations can't handle the hyperdrive. I'm not sure. I'm seeing 80%. What is that? Can you still read me? Genesis command. All phases complete. Life form detected. All right. So, this is uh, another thing we can get from these sites alien location. On the map we will be able to figure out where aliens are located. So let's see what happens when you die. Let's uh, let them kill us, we're losing health, we're getting a warning, and we're gone. So this alien, this individual is gone forever. As long as there are other people around we take over their position. So there's still one more person we can rely on if this one dies as well, currently. Let's actually test what happens when all of us die. So this one's gone. And now it's time for the aliens to get me. I mean, there's still people on the mothership, right? What's gonna happen now? Yep, somebody on the ship takes over. 
that is what happens. In the hangar, looks like the resources we collected do get taken back. So that's uh, a nice thing. But the three people we lost, we lost. So let's take a look at what aliens are actually trying to do to our ships. Just look at how much inf how much infestation is taking place. We're gonna ignore them and let them be. Okay, this one has decided to attack us. You know what, we're gonna let them kill us. And then we're gonna find out what they do once they are done with us. And we're gone, again. Running out of people. Okay, so these guys... Right, there we go. Keep energy nodes functional. This is what the aliens have been doing. They attacked the node over there, the red... This thing. And I can restore it by pressing E. But if enough nodes of one module are destroyed, bad things are gonna start happening. For now we're gonna let them feast on us. Maybe also grab your attention. So many... so much infestation. Alright, we must be uh, running low on people. We can see on the minimap Apparently, enemies. Okay, and this is what happens when you lose the last member of the crew. Well, we count what we unlocked. Yep, and now we cannot continue the mission, the save game is gone, we have to press new mission. However, now we can select artifacts, which we only discovered very few of. Exactly one, so we cannot select the second one. That's a shame. However, we can pick a corporation that is more interesting than tutorial. So let us pick maybe superior... let's take a look. Superior genetics. General ballistics. Stahl union. Different corporations have different kind of modules. For example, for example the bio storage module can have three or two entrances depending on which corporation. I haven't checked them all out yet. So just pick the one you're most interested in. I've had a good game with superior genetics. I did go quite far with that. So now we can just start the mission. So when you actually start a game without having to rely on the tutorial presets, you can start from scratch. And I recommend that the tractor beam over here as long as all corporations have four entrances, that it is placed right by the bridge. It just feels correct. We also need a biotank and a greenhouse. And the quarters for now I will place on a different level. With a new corridor and one times quarters for now. And let's put some storage over here. That's it for now. Nothing is wasted. We can start the game. Alright, so here we are. And we are in a different galaxy. There are the mechanics right next to us, which might be a problem. They will attack us, I believe, if they get next to us. We might want to get started scanning right away. Let's get a crew on that. They can automatically scan much slower, but still they can scan. And we need to start collecting stuff. Let's just simulate what happens when we get attacked. We're gonna make one hyper jump into the sector of the uh, frame and not mechanics. I was wrong. Ah, no, wait, the mechanics moved north. We are now in the same sector with. Wait, mechanics are here. Okay, so now there's a hazard impact on turbo lift, which is uh, this way. 
Oh, hello. And he's attacking us. And as you can... I think you could see that he was... They were throwing grenades at this node there. And sidestepping carefully can be of use. They also do tend to shoot one another. But we are nearly dead. Well, we did get some research stuff for their weapons. That's nice. We can check using this turbo lift below. Oh, hello. And more research technology and some... Hello, they were helping. Very good. Okay, and now a tractor beam. So while we are in the same, let's call it sector, as this, uh, well, dangerous dot on the map, we're going to be constantly attacked. I don't think there's ever an end. And it's over. He was also attacking this. But uh, let's see, does he... Oh, here we see one of these nodes being damaged. But I don't think... Okay. And he's down. Uh, this one is still intact. But what I want you to see is what happens when multiple of these are downed. So let's just damage it ourselves. Alright, so two of them are now destroyed. But I think there's only one more, is there? Okay, so there's only one more. Let's attack this one as well. Hello. And we're down. Darn it. Uh, maybe he's gonna finish the node in the meantime. Ah, let's just do it ourselves. Alright, so this is what happened now. This room is going to explode in a while. Because it ran out of these energy nodes. Meanwhile, all my crew is dead. Okay, so never mind. And I really want you to see what happens when you lose all of these nodes. Let's do that in storage. So up here there is no node to be attacked. We actually have to go downstairs. Into the service tunnels, by the way, here. Not every node has access to them. The biosphere or greenhouse is the ugliest uh, one down here. And here is the storage energy node. Alright. Keep energy nodes functional, repair destroyed energy nodes. If more than half of a module's energy nodes are destroyed, the module will constantly take damage and eventually burn down. So if we hang out in there, we will also just fly into space, so we shouldn't do that. But I will totally do that, so you see what that looks like. And you can only repair it or fix it by pressing E on that one node. So far? Okay. So now there's no more breathable air in here. And we get this cool effect while we're in there. And let's see if we can uh, make it and fix it still. Yeah, it's still there. All we have to do is press E. All we have to do is press E to fix it all. The only thing we need to do is press E right now to prevent the destruction of this one node. Now it says module critical. Well, that's that's a darn shame, I gotta say. And all I had I would have to do to fix it is to press E right now. But somehow I just want to see what's gonna happen. So this is what happens if you are inside a module that is about to explode and then it explodes. You drift off into space. Yep. Really nice to know. And the module is gone now, so you would have to rebuild it. All I really had to do was walk up to the node and press E to fix it. 
and uh, since we have this nice shotgun, let me show you what happens when uh, nodes are lost in a way that disconnects nodes from other uh, modules from other modules. What is this? This is a bridge node, so this is unrelated to this module. So, once all these nodes are down, you can also not use the terminals anymore. That's very interesting. And it tells us to reboot the modules. Uh, nodes. But if we let it burn down... Let's just see what happens. Alright, so it's getting dangerous in here. Now it's getting critical. And apparently just standing in the doorway is enough to take you out. I had no idea. Well, this guy's still alive. Unfortunately, we are now disconnected from the main module. So we have no energy. Uh, so all we can do now is connect it back. So let's, for example, build... Well, we cannot afford a tractor beam. I don't know how this game can at all succeed at all anymore. Without a tractor beam there is nothing we can do. You can also deconstruct nodes, uh, I mean modules, by pressing and holding down X. You cannot do that to nodes that are disconnected, so let's connect this up. Wait, did I just... What am I even doing? Yeah, without air we're all gonna die. I guess there's not much we can do now. Two, one, zero. Really? New captain? A hundred health? That is generous. Well, let's speed through these as well. And two and one and gone. Game over again. But these are the basics of how to play Genesis Alpha 1 and how to not play it and how to avoid dying. You will research new modules, you will trade resources, and you will finally find Genesis planets and also go down and reach the game goal. But until you reach that, make sure to build a nice spaceship. I hope this helped, make sure to watch my other Genesis Alpha 1 videos, give this video a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Until then, ciao!